Welcome back to the last and final episode of the Hazang series. If you missed the last two weeks, be sure to check them out as we travel far and wide seeing some of the most amazing sights on this loop, from Heaven's Gate, cute cliffside coffee shops, the My P Lane Pass, and much, much more. On this week's episode, we will continue our journey through Hazang to Mayovac whilst exploring waterfalls, taking an epic canyon cruise, and finally making our way back to the zero kilometer mark in Hazang. So come join Francis and I on yet another epic journey through these beautiful roads. <laughs> Francis is my little torment. I can't move. Push, push, push. She's not strong enough, guys. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to the Hazang Loop. So we just have awoken in the Pa Vi Hamong Culture Village. And I didn't know this place existed, but it feels like a little village, town, commune. I don't know how to exactly explain what this place is, but basically Francis was telling me the government gave the local Hamong tribe a grant for them to, to put it towards opening homestays here in Mayovac. So just outside of Mayovac and just at the bottom of Mapi Lane Pass sits this beautiful area. And as you guys can see around me, there's a bunch of different homestays around us that were decorated really nicely last night. There's little parks for kids to play at. There's no restaurants, but majority of the homestays here cook family style dinners. So you're covered for food anyways. But yeah, I would definitely recommend you guys stay here. Check it out. The homestays aren't too expensive. There's a budget for everybody here in this village. But yeah, let me take up the drone and show you guys what this village looks like. down to the Mo Pui River right now. We're gonna be taking a boat along that beautiful turquoise water that you guys saw yesterday. We're just driving up the Mapi Lane Pass yet again this morning. And again, so stunning as you guys can see right behind us. Yet another hot chocolate here on the Hazang Loop. I don't, I haven't drinking this much hot chocolate in years, in years having this much hot chocolate. But again, we're at the Two San Coffee House, enjoying our hot chocolate here. The owner here is just so lovely too. Yeah, he's funny. He's he's so, nice. he's so funny, and his English is so good. And he's been only learning for like three months. He said yeah. three months from tourists, not even a teacher, from tourists. Yeah. But again. What a beautiful way to drink hot chocolate in the morning here. So we're gonna chill here. We have a timer. We don't wanna spend too long. Yeah, we don't wanna spend too long chilling. So we're gonna spend 10 minutes here and then we're gonna head down to that river that you guys see down below and hop onto a ferry down there. And fingers, fingers crossed, we're not gonna be joined by too many people. It's super busy up here. Right it's super now. busy. Again, it's Tet Holiday. This is the time of the year where Vietnamese people travel, let alone like Usually foreigners would be here too, but there's no one new in the country. So it's a lot of Vietnamese people traveling right now. And we, we actually saw some foreigners yesterday and the only foreigners we've seen are people that we work with. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the only people we know that we've seen. Yeah. And like uh, even last time Francis was saying like this whole pass was basically empty. And when I see videos of people doing the ferry, it's generally very empty. So we're Fingers crossed, I don't have high hopes, but still, it will still be magical. And we live in Vietnam, so we can always come back here. Yeah. But let's enjoy our hot chocolate and head down to the river. Cheers. All right, 10 minutes up, guys. Let's head down to the river. Woo! Woo! All right, guys, so we just got to the main point of the road where we're going to now head down to the river. And the access point to turn off to this road is called, I'm going to have to read it because it's way too long for me to remember. Loi Sung Ben Tung Song Ngo Kwe Ngo Wi, something like that. I'll plug the name in the in the bottom corner right there. But hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. I doubt I am, so sorry if I cannot pronounce it right. But we're gonna head down this hill here.
Oh guys, this road that Francis just showed me that takes you down, supposedly takes you down to the pier to take the boat along this river. You can see the boats down there. My god. It's unreal. Even if you don't take the boat, you have to just drive this road for this view right here. Look at this. Yeah, so we're going to be going down all of that windy, twisty road. Look at all those fun loops that you can drive down to the river right there where we're going to be taking a boat. But look at this view. Just a giant canyon. I know. Woo! Woo! Oh my hair is so Echo! Did not did I, echo? I heard it. I, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. Ah, oh, didn't hear that time. Echo. All I hear is the motorbike. Whoa! Oh, I heard that! Huh? Echo! Woo! I can hear it now. Whoa, that went for like Five or six so seconds weird. after. Some guy is on the time. top, like, well. One more time. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> that is crazy. I've never heard my voice echo like that before. Thanks so much. Holy shit. Imagine this, like, in the summertime with no haze, blue skies, Wait, and more lush green, 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 green. Francis actually has a photo. Wait, so let me see if I can find it. Let's see if she can find it because she went here last year. Look at that, guys. Look how clear that looks. You can see the whole valley. Insane. <laughs> Are you sure? I think yeah. we just go too low. No? All right, guys, so we made it down the entire road to the very bottom, that beautiful scenic road that you guys were just watching. But <laughs> it turns out that this is not the right ferry point. We actually have to head back all the way to the place where we thought we yeah, saw the cars we're going in. We're cars. like, oh, that's where the cars catch it. But that's okay. We're here to do it the wrong way so that you guys can do it the right way. But, <laughs> but, I'll still, you should still definitely check out this road because it was absolutely stunning to drive down to the bottom and even along it. So many points where you guys can take pictures of the valley and pictures of the view. So I still would, check out this maybe, drive for sure. Yeah. It only took like 20 minutes to get down. So check it out and then you can head over to the next harbor point where we're going to take you guys now. I'll put the name of that harbor point so it's easy for you guys to find and not get lost like us. Let's rock and roll. So from the viewing platform, guys, you're gonna wanna drive all the way down the road until you see it kind of forks into a Y right here. And then you'll see like a little hut down there. You're gonna walk in. And it might be a little bit easier to spot if it's not busy, cause it is quite busy right now. You'll see two ladies hidden amongst the crowd with, pla it doesn't look like ticket ladies selling anything. Oh, really? I was really confused when I walked out. Let me show you. So I'll walk in right now. And the ticket they give you is so gimpy. We could have made our own tickets. Right You're kidding. This is not the ticket. That's the ticket. <laughs> and it was uh, 110k per person. So don't let them charge you more than that. But that is our ticket it's right a here. a piece of note paper. With stuff with written on it. Like a phone number on it. So uh, from here. how much you paid. From here, you wait for a bus to pick you up. And then they'll take you down to the boat. So no we're just idea. waiting for the bus. But we don't even know what it looks like. So. You guys are just gonna be equally as confused as us. Again, we're doing it the wrong way, so you can do it the right way. So I think that's the bus right there, guys. There was also another red one as well. So pretty much any school bus style thing that you guys see driving in, that's what you're gonna get on. Here, baby, sit down. Sit down. 
Fuck yeah. Go and extend off chair. So guys, it's definitely recommended that you do this not during the biggest holiday in Vietnam. All right, guys, and we are here. Still have to walk a little bit of ways, but that's okay. We found the boat. Yay! No idea what's going on. We got a lady with a microphone here yelling stuff. But all the boats are look like they're a different company too, no? So guys, basically you guys will arrive and you get assigned a boat. There's a lady yelling on a big microphone. I don't know what it is when it's not busy here, but you get assigned a boat. They'll tell you the name, they'll tell you which boat to get on, and you basically get on it when it's super busy. It might be a little bit different when it's not busy. You might be able to just walk up and buy a ticket to any of the boats and hop on, but super busy right now. Oh my God. Just look at that view. So beautiful. Francis is just taking pictures of me vlogging. But guys, back here, over here, over here, mountains everywhere. So nice. Look how it opens up right behind me. So picturesque. Woo! Even back behind me over, ah, my hair. Oh my God, wobbly. All right, so now we're off the boat. We're gonna walk back, take the bus, head back up to that platform. And see you guys there. Two and a half hours to our next homestay in Dozia. Hopefully we have enough time to just make one stop and show you guys what the viewpoint will look like. We are a little bit behind right now, so we're trying to rush there to get there in time without having to drive these roads in the dark. It is, what time is it? It's about 2.30. So we're just gonna make it there right in the nick of time before it gets dark, so let's get moving. drive last night oh my god good morning guys so last night our drive was terrible <laughs> we drove through mud potholes loose gravel you name it we drove through it pretty much everything and it took us quite a long time to get here and it did start to get dark by the time we arrived at our homestay here I remember driving up at the peaks of the roads and all you could see is like the various faint outline of the mountain and then a sheer drop next to you so it was a little bit scary driving throughout the night and I was so tired last night I forgot to end the vlog so good morning welcome back to the Hazang Loop so right now we're actually heading to Duzia's waterfall they have a waterfall nearby here hopefully it's not too far it is raining a little bit right now as you guys can see it's gloomy it's cloudy but we're gonna make it to the waterfall hopefully it's not too much of a challenge as I heard Google doesn't actually take you there so we're gonna have to do some sign reading but we'll take you guys along and then today is actually our final day of the Hazang Loop so from here we're gonna be going back to Heaven's Gate hopefully the view is a little bit less cloudy because the first day it was covered completely in cloud we're gonna be heading there and then we're gonna be heading back to the zero marker mark in Hazek so come along our journey today come join us and let's head to the wall. start of the rocky roads here guys So we just asked the local farmers uh, where the waterfall is. They said it's down the road and it's behind these bushes somewhere. So let's see if we're able to actually find it or not. He was the guy, we found the turn. He was the guy telling us where to go and he just drove past us. Let's get right down here. So.
anh ơi anh có biết cái chỗ sông nước ở đâu không đi thẳng lên nữa ok cảm ơn em You're able to once you're able to get enough directions you'll get to a fork here where you can go up this rocky path up the river which you'd have to walk it you can't drive a motorbike in that or it splits off right here and down this path right here so so it's a little slippery out i do not want to end up in that water oh my goodness it's a real little slippery oh yeah you're literally walking on the side of a river with these slippery ass rocks but You can swim here in the summer and you can actually cliff jump here in the summer so it might be well worth it to come here in the summer when it's really really hot but we're just here to chill <laughs> no swim we have made it Woo look at that waterfall and this would be way more pleasant in the summertime where you can jump off that cliff into the water and the water is actually super super blue it's blue right now so imagine it with the sun shining bright down on it oh. and we have this whole place to ourselves right now so we're just gonna chill eat some oreos then we're gonna continue our journey back up the way we came last night to show you guys the stunning views from up there but wow i what a great saturday morning waking up to a waterfall right here We're okay. It did. The bike's okay for the most part. You guys can see. I, where did I hit the brake? Right here. Yeah. I was coming out of this and I was just trying to slow down a little bit. I hit the brake. We slid all the way over here. You guys can see this, the chunks yeah. that I think this kickstand took. You see it's a little bit bent. We got to get that sorted out. But thank God we had all of these layers on because our skin would have been torn to shreds. And gloves. And gloves too. Yeah, her went, glove has went, a hole through it. It went through my glove. It went through her glove. This thing got torn up. But other than that, no no damage. We just, just that thing's bent. Yeah. I think that thing took most of it. Francis was pinned under the bike. Her leg yeah, was but stuck. Tony was under me and I was on him and then the bike was on me. You can see here too, the bag hit the dirt. Woo! This is clip. Continue the journey guys, we are okay, that is all that matters. And we're good. Woo! So guys, I would love to show you the valley. Last night it was really clear, but it was dark, but you could still see the outlines of the mountains. But unfortunately, yet again, <laughs> we are in a cloud. So let's see if we can get above this. It doesn't look that much better. Up. I think we're so, stuck in a for a we'll see if you guys get to see this road. <laughs> I'm kind of sad. This is the second time I have a movie. I know. And this, it was really dramatic yesterday, so I really want to see it right now. So, as you guys can see, well, you can't see, we are at the Lung Ho viewpoint right now. And right now, looking across the valley, it is. It would be very, very stunning. I see a road winding through this beautiful valley down below. I can see these rolling hills through the mist, but unfortunately it's just so wet and so misty up. Like my lens is covered in water droplets right now. So guys, we have completed the Hazang loop. We're right back at the zero kilometer marker from the very first video. That was where we started. We are exhausted. Like literally shattered. We literally just got changed on the side of the road. I threw away a pair of pants that were just raggedy. And as you guys can see too, there's a bunch of people here right now taking pictures of this. But good job. We did it. One crash. Small crash. <laughs> Small crash, no injuries, we're good. We did the road trip. So as you guys can see, Hazang 
very, very beautiful. The entire time we were just spoiled with mountains, really cool villages, the culture of the different tribes up there, like the Red Zhao, the Hmong tribe, the Black Zhao. The Black Hmong. No, the Black Hmong. <laughs> so we were treated with lots of great things during our trip. If you guys enjoyed these videos, make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you do not miss the next video. I'll also plug Francis' blog into the description below so if you guys want more details on very specific things on how you can rent motorbikes how you can do this that head over to that blog and check it out and until next time guys peace out bye bye <laughs>